Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Brandon Johnson from Views Boats TV. Have you ever wondered how boat capacity ratings are given? I know I have. I first started selling boats 18 years ago, and when I first started, about the only things I knew were that boats were pretty and pretty damn expensive. So when I first started, I'd always ask the older guys questions, you know, to try to get some help. Hey, do you mind if I ask you for your help real quick? I'm busy, damn it. What do you got? How are boat capacity ratings given? Well, son, it's like this. Boat capacities are given by the manufacturer based on certain criteria such as weight and width and draft and freeboard and depth. And however you add that all together, that their manufacturer will tell you how many seats that their boat can have in it. All right, now go ahead and get out of my office right now. I'm working on a 678 foot carver for sale. I'm about to sell it. Watch and learn, son. And I'm not really sure if they would give me a valid answer or literally just make something up. They would also tell me things like this. Brandon, I'll tell you something right now. If your customer ain't wanting to spend $100,000 at least, I ain't no reason to get out of your damn chair. So although I did go with the capacity explanation for many years, obviously it wasn't right. In fact, it was totally wrong. So today, we're gonna discuss how boat capacity ratings are given, as well as what makes a boat yacht certified. So please do me a favor. This is my YouTube channel, which is Use Boats TV. I sell boats here at Heartland Marine. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking below, hitting the subscribe button, or waiting to the end, clicking my face. It'll be in the middle of the screen. The purpose of this channel is to provide boaters and boat salespeople, whomever you are, with more information to help enhance your ownership or selling experience. Okay? Let's get on it. What it really means to live life golden. The math used for a capacity rating formula is pretty simple actually. Length multiplied by width divided by 15. This will tell you just how many 150 pound people can be in the boat or how many 150 pound people the boat will be rated for. I don't know about you, but I've got a lot more friends that weigh well over 150 than under. Anyways, however, the issue here is the term length isn't defined well enough which creates a confusing issue for many boaters. See, some companies use length, including the swim platform. So what I would call the overall length. Others use just the length of the boat by itself without a swim platform. While the remainder, which would be the only other way to do it, err on the side of caution by using the actual running surface, transom to bow eye measurement. The actual running surface to explain it is simply how much boat is sitting in the water while it's sitting still. Hey guys, hopefully I haven't lost you yet, okay? It can be confusing when you're comparing all these numbers to the formula, maybe using the boat you own, a boat you're shopping for uh, with the capacity formula to try to determine a rating or if it's the right boat for you. So because of that, I'm gonna use two examples of capacities and boats and kind of show how they're different, right? How different companies use different measurements to determine the capacity ratings. So I'm going to use a mid 2000s four winds to 24 fun ship, uh, 030405 that was called the 214 fun ship, and a 1999 2008 Sea Ray 240 sun deck. Let's look at these. With a four winds 214 slash 224 fun ship, we have some interesting. This boat's actually rated for. 13 people. It has a length overall 23 and a half feet long. I used a tape measure to get these. Length without swim platform is 20 foot 8 inches. The actual running surface of the boat is 19 feet 8 inches. So if we apply the formula length overall times width divided by 15, that will actually give us a capacity rating of 13 people. So that would be accurate based on length overall. So now Let's look at the Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. There's no question that the Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck is longer. They're the same width. There's a lot more room in the 240 Sun Deck. It has a length overall of 26 foot 4 inches, length without platform of 24 foot 3 inches, and an actual running surface measurement of 22 foot even, transom to bow eye. So using our formula length times width divided by 15, 
we get a capacity rating of 15 people. That would be right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? Uh, sorry, that's wrong. So here's a true example of how companies differ in their measurements. So if you were to apply the length without swim platform, you'd still be wrong. But if you apply the running surface times the width of eight and a half feet wide, do the math, you'll get a capacity rating of small. Now, hopefully you see what I mean by the length overall or the length without platform or the running surface length of the boat should be more clarified or used to classify the rating capacities of boats. Well, I hope that helped you. Now for something entirely different, let's talk about yacht certification. Presentation is, let's talk about what it isn't. That means you can't sink the sun, bitch. All that means is it can ride in the ocean. None of that's right. Damn it, will you just leave me alone? As fancy as it sounds, what it really means is, well, two things. Number one, it just meets certain criteria. And number two, it's just a label given by the National Marine Manufacturer Association because it meets A, B, Y, C standard. Let's talk about the mathematical formula that you have to use to determine if a boat's documented or not, though. So to find out whether or not the boat is documentable, this is the formula. Length times depth times width divided by 100 multiplied by 0.67. That will give you the gross displacement. Then. If you take 80% of your gross displacement, if that number is equal to or greater than 5,000, your boat is documentable. Therefore, you can put as many people on the boat as you would like, up to the captain's discretion. Well, that's it. I sure hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. We make a lot of training videos and how-to videos. Thanks for listening. Models popping bottles.